Hello. Chair caning tips. Weaving chair cane onto a new piece of furniture or repairing an older piece of furniture can be very rewarding. It takes patience and concentration to create the intricate designs that make up traditional cane chair seats or backs. However, there are some tips that will make this process easier and will create results that look more professional. Wet the caning. The caning material you are weaving together will be much easier to work with when it is wet. If you are working with existing caning that needs to be repaired, you can lay a wet towel over it for 5 to 10 minutes to let it absorb moisture. If you are working with new caning strips that are not attached to any furniture, submerge them in a tub of water and allow them to soak for 5 to 10 minutes. While you are working, you can spray the caning with a water mister to keep it damp. Don't weave against the barbs. Some caning material will intentionally have subtle bumps on the surface, which add to the character of the design. If you run your finger or fingernail over these bumps, you will notice that the cane is rough in one direction and smooth in the opposite direction. When you begin to weave the caning together, feed the caning in so the smooth side goes in first. If you don't do this, the rough edge of the bump, called the barb, will snag during the weaving process and can cause your caning to crack or split. Use golf tees. The spaces in furniture you will thread the caning through are usually small and round, but they vary in size. Golf tees are the perfect shape to hold the caning taut while you weave it, and will not damage the caning material or the main piece of furniture. You can purchase golf tees at a sporting goods store, and both wood and plastic golf tees are appropriate for this job. Keep spacing even. It is very tempting, especially at the edges of a curved piece of furniture, to thread caning though every hole. However, this can give the weave a crowded appearance and will lead to problems when your weaving becomes more intricate. When you are weaving the caning, pay more attention to keeping the spacing of the canes even and parallel rather than filling up all of the spaces to thread caning through. Glue and lacquer when done. When you have finished weaving the caning and have tied off the edges, it is common to apply glue to the hidden bottom or back of the caning edge to ensure that it doesn't loosen. You can also apply lacquer to the visible part of the caning, which will give it a lustrous appearance, but also will help the caning stay in place and not loosen or untie. Resources Read this article in UK English. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.